This one comes to us from fox5atlanta.com out of DeKalb County, Georgia. Now, remember a few years ago, uh, DeKalb County was where the uh, cop shot the unarmed naked veteran who was tweaking on drugs or what have you. And uh, he was asking for help, and remember, and the cop just shot him and said, well, he was running up on me, and I feared for my life. He was going for my gun. And then a video, some video footage uh was discovered where he shot the guy from six, six and a half feet away. And he was charged and convicted for manslaughter, not murder, even though he lied. Uh, but that's out of DeKalb County, Georgia, and we're going back there, and I hate doing these stories. These are the ones that hurt. But you irresponsible gun owners refuse to put your guns away and you know the politicians jump on this every time, right? I say it every time. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to hammer it into you. If you own a gun and you're irresponsible, all you're doing is asking your local politicians to fight for gun control. <coughs> now, I'm not, against, I'm, not uh, uh, I'm against gun control, so to speak. I'm for the Second Amendment. I think we as Americans have the right to bear arms. We have the right to own firearms. But our government doesn't agree. Our politicians disagree. And whenever you irresponsible gun owners leave your guns out, you're just asking them to take some action. Well, out of DeKalb County, Georgia, police named the four-year-old boy who died when police say he accidentally shot himself inside the car. And Jennifer, his aunt tells me that Mayel's mother left the car to go get a birthday cake from Mayel's grandfather that day when all of this unfolded with the three children inside a vehicle. <coughs> Jose Hernandez never went one day without telling his son Mayel that he loved him. On Sunday, he wasn't able to. He was sleeping and didn't get to say he loved his son before his son left the house. Miel died from injuries at a nearby hospital, police have said. Fortunately, he didn't shoot the infant, you know, or the 13-year-old. But it's sad and tragic that this four-year-old. Chief Mirtha Ramos from DeKalb Police said, Our hearts and thoughts go to the Hernandez family. We're imploring gun owners to always keep their guns safe and secure. You say our hearts and thoughts go to the Hernandez family. No, your hearts and thoughts should go to Miel Hernandez, to the Hernandez's parents. You should be like, you stupid, idiotic, moronic, bleep-sucking fools. <coughs> this pisses me off. This is one of those where, why even own a gun if you're going to just leave it in the car with your kids? Woods, who's in the Army in Washington, D.C., and is flying back to Atlanta Friday to be with family, says she's not sure who the gun belongs to or how this even happened. Mayel was Woods' only nephew. And all he wanted to do was be held, told he's slug, kissed. That's what he wanted. He wanted you to hold his hand constantly. He loved his baby sister. He was excited when that came around. Now she has one message for parents. Always make sure you tell your kids that you love them because you never know what can happen. Guadalupe Woods is Jose's sister. She says Mayel's mother drove to Publix with the four-year-old, his eight-month-old sister, and 13-year-old cousin. Woods says she got out of the car Sunday afternoon to get Mayel's grandfather a birthday cake. Police say that's when Mayel accidentally shot himself with a gun that was inside the car. The 13-year-old then ran inside for help. The moment will forever be remembered as my dad's birthday, but the death of our only boy that we had besides my brother and our family. There have been at least six children who died from gunfire in Metro Atlanta in 2022. I've done a couple of stories on these, remember? I've done it. And uh, on March 19th, the DeKalb County Police Department plans to host a safety fair and provide free gun locks. Well, instead of providing free gun locks, why don't you just provide a way to turn them in? Hey, you want to turn in your guns? Here you go. No questions asked, just drop them in the barrel and you're good. They did that here in Los Angeles um, sometime last year, I forget which month, but they had this thing, it was all over the news, and you could bring in your guns, no, question asked, no questions asked, 
If you turn in your gun, you got a $50 gift card to a store, one of the stores. I want to say, I don't know what store it was, but that's what they need to do in DeKalb County, Georgia. Hey, and Atlanta as well. You want, you want this $50 gift card for groceries? Turn in your guns, you get a $50 gift card per gun. That's what they were doing. No, we're just going to wait until all the children shoot themselves and say, well, just only adults have guns now. I'm pretty sure my niece is going to be probably messed up for the rest of her life. She unfortunately was in there when it happened, but we'll figure something out. And we'll just keep going. The family has set up a fundraiser to help them out during this time. But in the meantime, DeKalb County is hosting an event that is dedicated to keeping kids safe. And they will be giving out free gun locks in that event. We've got all that information on 11alive.com.